we'll guide you through how to do text-to-speech in CapCut PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Text-to-speech is super cool as it allows you to go and add speech without having to use your own voice. So to go and do this, come to the top left of CapCut and click on text. And then what you want to do is go and choose some text. So I'll just use the basic. Now, if you don't actually want to have the text on the screen, that's fine, we can go and delete it. But to do this, you do need to add text to start with. And if you want to add some cool text, then you can, and you can keep it on the screen. But you don't have to at the same time, if that makes sense. Then once you've gone and added it, click on it in your timeline and come over to the right, make sure text is selected and then basic. And then what you want to do is go and type in what you want the text to speech to say and the text to say. So I could go and type in, this is awesome, like so. So if you plan on keeping the text on your screen, then what you can do is go and start customizing this, changing the font size, the style, the case, the color, all of that stuff can go and be changed and made to your liking. But if you were to delete it, it doesn't really matter anyway. And then in the top right, you can click on text to speech. And you've then got all of these different voices which you can go and use. Some of them are for Canva Pro, which of course you can go and get if you're not already, but there also are a lot of free ones. To go and hear how it sounds, you can go and click on it. This is awesome. And if you like the sound of it and you want to go and use it, then what you can do is go and click on start reading in the bottom right. It'll go say applying and it's now generated an audio track from that text. And as I said before, you can go and choose to keep the text or alternatively, you can just go and delete it. So you can click on it and right click on it and click on delete. But you've still got the audio you've generated.